What is going on fellow Clashers? Thank you so much for stopping by for another episode of Clash Royale. And a couple of these replays actually happened on Camcord as I was live streaming. You guys can check out the URL here. It is a free app for both Android and iOS. Join me and maybe you can battle against me and maybe you can come up with the fastest three crown win ever. Right now I am offering a $25 gift card to anybody that can beat the fastest time on record so far, but we will get to that in just a moment as we get into this replay between BJ Tang and Doc Jay-Z. Right here, BJ sees his opponent drop the golem in the back and he is going to seize this opportunity to push hard down the left hand lane with the prince, with the dragon, with the goblins and they are going to melt through that tower so fast in fact, his opponent has not even played another card. It looks like his opponent is disconnected until he drops the wizard, but it's too late. This is over 39 seconds in, and BJ Tang has three crowned his opponent. Now 39, that's pretty fast, but we have seen faster. And in fact, what I'm talking about is a competition where you're going friendly matches, and we've called it right lane rush. Now the rules are simple. You push down the right hand lane, any troops, any spells, but you cannot defend. So it is just the first person to grab three crowns that wins. So obviously it has a lot to do with the cards you select and of course, what cards come up first in your deck. If you don't have the right cards at first, you are doomed. Princes, rage spells, and minions work pretty well. And right here, just 27 seconds is all it took to grab the three crown win. If you guys try this out in your clan, let me know what your fastest time is. We actually did a tournament a right lane rush tournament on Camcord a couple of weeks ago and the winner got one of his attacks in and three crowns in 24 seconds. So that right now I believe is the fastest time we've ever seen. Now we're back into multiplayer again. This is my non-gemming account, the level three. And once again, we're going to say lightning fast win just where the opponent chooses to go down one lane, I go down the other with the giant. Now obviously he's got the mini P.E.K.K.A, a great fast card that gets in there quickly. And I am at a huge disadvantage in the beginning of this match. It does not look good as my first tower goes down way before his does. But you'll notice my troops are stacking up and I've got all sorts of units moving in. I think about countering, decide just to push as hard as I can. Looks like I have the advantage and sure enough, with the help of the Musketeer, I grab the three crown win. But this strategy not always effective. It really depends upon a lot of different factors, starting cards, and of course, if your opponent throws in a counter or two at the King's Tower, that can change the game completely as well. But let's take a look at one more attack. This is up in the legendary arena, a couple of level 11s going at it. Obviously an area where you very rarely see three crown wins. But I thought I would throw it in because yes, a couple of three star victories that fast doesn't make for much of an episode. So we will take a look at some legendary arena play and my very common split barbarian opening move. I drop the princess down to try to take down the opponent's elixir collector. I try not to let them get too much of an advantage with that. Obviously I have one of my own back there, but early on I've got a lot of damage on it. He drops his prince, the prince gets dragged way back there, and I don't really have any units to stop him other than the musketeer, so it does prevent most of the damage. She goes down, he gets a couple of good shots in on my tower, and we are back to reset. His elixir pump is down already because I got the damage on it. Now here comes a giant from the back. I've been seeing more and more giants up at legendary arenas. So we're going to counteract it with the Inferno Tower. I'm watching out, of course, for his strategy. I'm expecting something to come in and try to take down the Inferno Tower, but it doesn't happen. So I send the Hog Rider and then three Musketeers. Yes, it's the bold, massive elixir move. The three Musketeers doesn't work out though. Between the Inferno Tower, the tower and my Barbarians, he has lost all that elixir. I don't care if it's 10 or nine, it is still a bad move doesn't work out, I'm able to counter it easily. His left tower severely damaged, his right tower getting severely damaged as well. The ice wizard on the left hand side, he is going to fall also, and now I've got a huge advantage with a minute 20 left in this match. Rather than push right here, I'm going to let the musketeer just die to the Tesla. She goes down, that is it. He gives me a well played thank you, but I'm focusing. I draw my next elixir collector, figuring he's going to continue as well. He does behind the Tesla, but I am way ahead in Elixir right now, and he is way behind in hit points. So it's just a matter of playing it safe. I drop the Hog Rider in, the Tesla goes down, that works out perfectly. Severe damage on that Elixir Collector. I drop my arrows, wipe out his minions. He drops his arrows, wipes out my princess. 
but the Barbarians are going to make it to the tower. The Musketeer distracted on the Tesla momentarily, but she was never needed. The Barbarians take that tower down. Give me the 1-0 lead, and I've got units all over the place. The Hog Rider gets the left tower down, and I go ahead 2-0 as he was safe enough to drop another giant in the back. Now I'm just overwhelming and pushing hard. Yes, it's three crowns, a very surprising three crown win against another level 11 in the legendary arena. So not a right lane rush, but let me know if you guys are interested. I've had some positive feedback on Camcord on Twitter about this. Again, let me know if you can beat 24 seconds. Check me out on a Camcord live stream. Beat that time live and get a $25 gift card. Thank you guys again for spending a short part of your day with me. I appreciate every last one of you and hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Kelly Don, you want a rematch? I'll rush you on right lane. Bye, Gordon.